We are pleased to be joined by one of the newest members of the Miami Dolphins, linebacker Lawrence Timmons. Good to have you. It's a pleasure to be here. You know, good to be back home, uh, away from the cold weather, uh, more sun, you know. Good for my time. Uh, yeah, yeah, there you go. Okay, yeah, now let's start with that. You mentioned the weather, because let's get this out of the way. You are perfectly acclimated to warm weather, despite what we saw after a touchdown during the Dolphins-Steelers game earlier this year. So what happened there? Tell me about that. You know, uh, I was in Pittsburgh for the most part of that year, and then I had a surprise Miami visit, and, the, you know, the weather, you know, <laughs> it kind of got to me, you know. Uh, and they put us in dark jerseys. That wasn't fair, but uh, you know, that's the past. I don't want to talk about it. No, no, no we'll, we'll leave that alone. Uh, speaking of the past, though, you mentioned uh, your father's from down here, went to Carroll City High School. So you do have some pretty strong ties to this area. Yeah, uh, dad went to Carroll City High School, uh, born and raised here. Um, you know, been here for a while. So, uh, you know, I've been uprooted here. Got a lot of family here, aunts and uncles here. Had a lot of summers here. So, uh, you know, uh, I know a lot about uh, South Florida. So uh, having such strong ties here, was that one of the big draws to coming and signing with the Dolphins? Because I'm sure you had plenty of options. Oh, absolutely. But, uh, you know, uh, we played against them in the playoffs. You know, like you said, y'all beat us at your house pretty good, uh, pretty good here. Um, I look at this team as a playoff contender. Um, you got great quarterback, great receiver, great defense. Uh, I, don't, I say, why not, you know? So uh, I feel like it's a very good move for me. Well, and you have a unique perspective having prepared for this team twice, almost like a division rival. What did you see on film? You mentioned the quarterback. What did you say specifically either with Tannehill or with the uh, surrounding cast that made you think, okay, this is a team that I can help take to the next level? I say, uh, you know, the running back, you know, that the game I threw up in, you brought up, uh, he ran, <laughs> went for 200 yards. Uh, you know, Tannehill was throwing crazy. Uh, defense is great to have, uh, you know, uh, Rashad, great safety, uh, and Dominican Sue, you know, Hall of Famer. You know, they got players all over the place, so they, they have the recipe. Does that help for you, having guys like that both in front of you to kind of maybe occupy those blocks a little bit, and then behind you a guy like Rashad knowing, all right, you know, I can kind of not necessarily freelance, but go look to make plays knowing when you got a guy in the back end like Rashad to help you out? Uh, that means everything. You know, the safety is the most vital part of the defense. He's the safety. He's supposed to be the best tackle on the defense, and uh, you see this guy year in, year out you know, make a lot of plays and, uh, you know, being a linebacker, nobody wants to be, uh, wants to be touched. So you want to have like big guys in front of you just, you know, mauling, ripping things apart. So, you know, you could just go make the tackle, you know, not get dirty, not get, you know, mushed in the ground by old linemen. So, uh, you know, that's, uh, you know, the pretty part about being a linebacker. Yeah, especially when you got a guy like that that you mentioned got a mauling guys up front yeah. there. Um, you know, one thing I wanted to ask you about that I thought was really interesting was reading up about you a little bit, your middle name. Elijah won. It, your mom was a big basketball fan, I understand? Huge fan. She uh, she thought Elijah Wan was better than Jordan. You know, everybody knew Elijah Wan was good, but we were like, you know, mom, you know, that's that Jordan. <laughs> you know, wear, wear Elijah Wan shoes. Yeah, you know, yeah, so, yeah. so that just our little family rivalry, so. Yeah, but hey, I mean, mid-80s, you know, she could have named you Bowie. She could have named you after somebody who didn't turn into such a great player like Elijah mm -hmm. Wan did. You, got, you still got lucky, even though it wasn't Jordan. And happy Mother's Day to her, too. You there know, you it's, it's Mother's Day wearing a pink for her. There you, you know? go. There yeah. you go. Love it. Love it. Got to um, love. Yeah, that's really cool. So, okay, when you came to visit the Miami Dolphins, I'm sure there was quite a bit that you went through, but when you met with the coaching staff, Specifically, what was the reaction? What was your your response? What did you see in them that made you think, okay, I'm going to be a perfect fit here? You know, you could just tell the energy. You know, like they're they're hungry. They had a taste in the mouth for their in their mouth for the first time in the playoffs, and uh, you know they got up. But you you could tell they want to be there. That's what they're striving for. Uh, they're striving for a championship. You know, New England has pretty much run the the their uh, division for for a while now. I'm pretty sure they're tired of it. So. You can see that in the way they're going about it. So, um, you know, I'm um, just looking forward to it. And uh, Andy up in my part. There you go. Okay, so we got Finn's weekend coming up next week, and we're going to put the information up on the screen. And one of the big parts about this is you've got fishing and you've got golf. We talked a little bit. You said you are an avid fisherman, but I want to talk about what you said you can't do, mm. golfing. You mentioned you're a basketball fan. Who's worse? You were Charles Barkley when it comes to golfing. I mean, we're pretty close. <laughs> it's I that mean, bad. It's pretty bad. I'm not going to brag, you know, but uh, – I think I said enough. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So, but you said you are a pretty avid fisherman. You're born in South Carolina, did spend some time down here. But right. um, are you looking forward to that part of it? Is that when you're going to be able to show kind of what you can do? Yeah, you know, I have, you know, I'm built for fishing more than golf. You know, golfers are more skinnier. You know, I, I can't really move my shoulders and my neck like that, so I'm not as good in golf. 
But uh, fishing, fishing, I got that. I got you right here. There you go. I'm good. There you go. Love to hear that. Um, and this is obviously your your first experience with this. What does it mean having the ties to South Florida to be able to to help contribute to such a great charity like this, I, I, even without even stepping on the field as a dolphin yet? It feels good. You know, I, I uh, just did the cancer awareness with the dolphins, which is pretty good. Uh, met some great people, and I uh, golf there. Had some balls going all over all, all over the place. Can't even talk. <laughs> but uh, you know, I just I just look forward to just you know do, doing charitable things. You know, you're you're an athlete. You see people. Uh, you know, they flock to you. You know, they want to be like you. Whatever. You know, I, I take joy in uh, just giving them like you know they're they're really like that. You know. And, uh, you know, and it makes me feel good, too, so, you know, I enjoy it. Good. Let's put the information on the screen one more time for you. Uh, check it out. Also, MiamiDolphins.com if you want to get some more information on this. It's a great event. They do it every year. Lawrence Timmons, welcome to South Florida as a member of the Dolphins now after already spending some time here. And uh, one day, maybe we'll have you back in when it's time to talk FSU Miami a little bit. I mean, it's not much to talk about. We're better. <laughs> oh, did you hear that? Lawrence Timmons, everybody.